Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Ivy here with Ivy B Creates. Um, I found a nice little stitch pattern that I have not heard before and I thought I would share it with you. It's called the In Stitch. And as you can see, looking at it, there's little ends. If I have it the right way, let's try this way. And that's not the right way so I had it right to begin with so so there it goes up down and up it is a nice textured this is a washcloth and it's textured let's see if I can get it there you go it sure would get them dishes clean let me tell you um, this one I made in a the size of it is eight and a half by eight so it's a good size washcloth dishcloth it's good enough for your hand just big enough for your hand where you can do the dishes or yourself it's a nice little scrubby thing so I put together a little video I hope you enjoy it and will try it and leave me a comment whether you liked it or didn't like it or if you're going to give it a try I hope you do it's pretty simple it's a two row repeat and yes give it a try let me know thank you for watching hello everybody I come across a stitch that I had not heard of and I thought I would share it with you it's my take on it it's called the in stitch have you heard of it maybe you have but for those that haven't I'm gonna do this little stitch tutorial I'm gonna make a washcloth out of it washcloth dishcloth or whatever it's a simple two row repeat that's it so what we're going to do is chain. I'm going to do 30 chains and we're going to add one. So go ahead and get your 30 chains. Oh, by the way, I am using a five millimeter hook and this is Lily's Sugars and Cream. Okay, so here we go. And I'm going to do 31. One, two, three, four, Fifteen, twenty, it's twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Because the pattern is in multiples of two, we need to make one for our turning. So on the first row, we are going to work in the back loop of our chains. So the back loop is, it's, it's the raised one right here. If you turn it over, you will see these back bumps. It's called the back loop. So we're going to go into the back loop. We're going to draw up a loop, pull through, and we're going to make a single crochet. Go to the next back loop, go into the stitch, draw up a loop, pull through, draw up a loop and go through two and we're going to make single crochets all the way down our 30 chains so go ahead and do that and I'll be right back okay I have two stitches left this is number 28 here's 29 and here is 30 <clears throat> Excuse me, you need multiples of two or even numbers. I'm sorry. So we're always going to chain one and turn our work. This is our single crochet row, and now we are going to do the in stitch. We're always going to start in the very first one with a half double crochet. Okay. 
This is made up in two stitches. We're going to be using this stitch and this stitch to make this. So here's how we're going to do. We're going to skip this stitch. The next stitch, we're going to skip it. And we're going to make a half double crochet in that stitch. So go ahead and make a half double crochet in that stitch, which I'll tell you how to do that. Half double crochet is yarn over, skip this stitch, go into this stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through three. That's a half double crochet stitch. Okay, we're going to turn our work just a little bit. You can probably eventually get this real easy. But we're going to go beep beep back up and we're going to go into this stitch in the front not through both of them we're going to go through the front loop of that stitch that we missed just go like that we're going to yarn over we're going to pull through once we're going to yarn over and pull through one we're going to have two loops on our hook and remember where we did that half double crochet, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to yarn over and go down into that half double crochet stitch that we did, draw up a loop, pull through. Now we have four stitches on our hook, yarn over and go through all four. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? So let's do it again. Skip this one. We're going to make a half double crochet in the next. So go ahead and make a half double crochet. We're going to beat beat back up. We're going to go through this stitch from the top down. We're going to go straight down through the front only. Draw up, pull through, pull through one, leave two on there, yarn over and go back down into the stitch that we just did a half double crochet and make a half double crochet using all four loops. So let's do that again. We're going to make a half double crochet. We're going to skip this one, a half double crochet into this one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, go through all three. We're going to beat beat back up, go into this stitch in the front loop only, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, do one, you're going to leave two on your hook, yarn over and go back down in the same stitch that we did a half double crochet and pull through all three. I'll do one more with you. We're going to do a half double crochet in the second because we're going to skip this one. We're going to go into this one. Make a half double crochet. We're going to beep beep back up, go into this one here. We're going to pull up a loop, make a chain, leave two loops on our hook, yarn over and go right back down into that same stitch that we did a half double crochet. And we're going to do a half double crochet going through all four stitches. So as you can see, maybe so far it usually defines things is here's the end there's the leg going up the leg coming down and the leg going up finish this stitch all the way down to the end and i will be right back all right i'm down here with my last few stitches and we are going to skip this one and we're going to work a half double crochet in this stitch. We're going to back up, go into the front of the stitch, draw through, yarn over, chain one, leaving two loops on our hook, yarn over and go through that stitch that we did a half double crochet. Now we have four yarn over and go through all four. We will always start and end our project the same way. So we started with a half double crochet in the first stitch here. We're going to put a half double crochet in the last stitch here. So as you can see, it's already 
making these lines. And I really don't think on the first row that you could see the end stitch, but it's, if you can see, it goes up at an angle and up. Okay, so let's carry on. Row two or row three, we're going to chain one. And I apologize for that. And all we're going to do is do a single crochet in each stitch all the way across. And this is a good time to make sure that you still have even number of stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So go ahead and do that single crochet all the way to the end and I will be right back. All right, I'm down here to the end and I have 28. You, you don't want to miss this last stitch. So there's 28. Here's 29. And make sure that you get this last stitch. So turn it just slightly this way. There is a V stitch right there. So go, make sure you go through two legs on the very last one and make a single crochet and that's my 30. All right. Now we're going to turn around and do the same thing as we did for row two. We're going to chain one, turn our work, and this time we're going to work a half double crochet in the very first stitch. Okay. We are going to skip this one. It's the same thing we did here, but we're working the single crochets up here. So we're going to skip this one. We're going to work a half double crochet in that one. Yarn over, skip that, into the next, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and go through all three. We're going to back up, go into this stitch that we missed, the front, working up, down. We're going to pick up our chain, we're going to pull through, we're going to chain one, leaving two stitches on our hook, two loops, I'm sorry, and go back down in that very same stitch that we did a half double crochet, and work the pattern again. Yarn over, we're going to skip that one, and do a half double crochet in the next one. We're going to back up and go through the front of the stitch we missed, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, make a chain, leaving two loops on our hook, yarn over, go back down in that same stitch that we did with a half double crochet, and make a half double crochet going through all four loops. And as you can see, there's the second one. So all you have to do is repeat the same stitches. We're going to do a half double crochet. We're going to back up, go into the front of that stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, chain one, yarn over, and do a half double crochet in the stitch where we did a half double crochet, and pull through all four loops. All right? I'll do one more with you. We're going to skip this one. We're going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch. We're going to back up, go into the front of the stitch that we missed. I'm going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, chain one, yarn over, and go back down into that half double crochet that we made. And we're going to go through all four stitches. And that's it. So go all the way back down here, doing the same stitch, do a single crochet on the next row, and repeat these two stitches, row two and row three. And I'll show you when I run, either A, run out of this, or I finish this washcloth in that. All right, I'll be right back.